Well, welcome back all my YouTube subscribers and browsers and thanks once more for taking the time to join me in my world of classic dirt bikes. Now in this continuing series of looking at vintage motocross machines we're going to take a look at Ian Robertson's XL HBF Honda replica. Now the main reason Ian decided to build this particular machine was that he used to race an old XR500 Honda and absolutely loved it but when he saw one of those big HPF Hondas at a recent nostalgia scramble Ian knew then straight away he just had to have one of his own. Now without getting out of his depth at the thought of owning one of these colossal machines, Ian understood immediately that a brand new original bike was way off his projected and meagre budget at the time. Although having weighed up all the options, Ian was still determined to do his best at building a reproduction bike that was as near as damn it to the real thing but within a strict and scheduled financial plan. Now of course first on the list was a quick phone call to try and track down and source the backbone of Ian's build, that superbly crafted C&J Honda frame and swing arm. Now a supplier was soon found where a deal was then struck and Ian was almost in an instant relieved of the sum of £2,000 for his brand new frame and rear swing arm. Ian told me that things were held up initially awaiting the delivery of the frame and swing arm but when it did eventually arrive and all painted in this lovely Honda red it was all well worth it and so it was now all systems go and it was time to crack on with the rest of the construction. Of course next on the list was the engine for this new project and it started its life as just a complete box of bits which were purchased from a fellow racer for the ridiculously princely sum of just £50. Now what's even more surprising is that all the motor parts appeared to be all present and these of course were all checked to make sure they were set in serviceable condition and any items not measuring up were then soon replaced or refurbished. Now the parts required for the reassembly of the bottom end of the engine were then sent to classic bike building expert Rod Spry of Rod Spry Engineering in Lancashire in England. Now Rod's highly qualified mechanic started the reassembly of the motor by building a new crankshaft which was then carefully put together with new bearings and a high tech Carrillo corn rod. Now once the gearbox and all the other internals were finished, the completed lower half of the motor was then returned to Ian for completion. Now Ian continued the build by fitting the piston and barrel along with a new gas flowed cylinder head. Now a new Makuni carburetor was also then added to feed that big bang motor with fuel. Now Ian told me he deliberately kept the tuning of the engine to the bare minimum as he believed this would also help with the reliability of the project and more importantly this would also keep the bike within his associated budget. Now when it came to the front suspension on Ian's project these uh, front forks were sourced from a Yamaha along with their uh, associated front and rear brake hubs. Now of course once these Yamaha forks were taken from the donor machine these were totally refurbished with uh, brand new internals and then fitted onto Ian's new machine. Now when it came to supplying the front and rear mudguards for Ian's project these were ordered and then promptly delivered from John McCrink of Classic Off-Road Supplies and uh, I must admit they do not look out of place on this uh, lovely machine. 
Now when it came to a seat for Ian's new bike, this one was taken from an old Honda CR250 and then recovered. Now these are more or less simple bolt-on items and virtually no fabrication is required to get them to fit to the C&J frame. To sort out the bike's rear suspension, Ian has opted to fit a pair of these quite good uh, quality Fox Air shocks to hold the rear of his bike in place. And Ian says these shocks are quite easily tunable and are quite simple and cheaper to service than more expensive items and uh, he says they perform quite well in most race conditions. Now the front and rear wheels on Ian's new bike building project are SM Pro rims. Now these wheels were built by a local wheel building expert in uh, Cooper in Fife and uh, George Spence uh, took these uh, lovely wheels and laced them on to these Yamaha hubs. Now when it came to the exhaust system for Ian's new bike uh, at the time he did have a pair of uh, twin header pipes for the front of the engine but could not source a tailpipe so Ian put his engineering skills to good use and manufactured this uh, quite nice uh, tailpipe to uh, go along with his uh, exhaust system. Now to control Ian's brand new machine he opted to use a pair of these very high quality Renthal Pro Taper bars and grips. Now of course he also fitted brand new control cables including the throttle cable, clutch cable and these front and rear brake levers. Now Ian told me that HPF side panels were rarer than the proverbial hen's teeth to find but Ian circumnavigated round this by sourcing the appropriate suitable plastic material and fabricating these uh, parts himself which actually turned out to fit near perfectly. Of course these will be removed as soon as Ian can source the original items. Now of course Ian never set out to build an exact replica of an HBF Honda but this was Ian's very own interpretation of uh, his uh, dream bike, his uh, HBF Honda. Now since these pictures were taken Ian has tried the bike on the track although he thought that the front and rear suspension was a bit soft so he intends to do something about that in the future. Now we don't have a start up in this video but we can show you the bike in action from a few years back. Now this video clip was taken at a local Scottish classic scramble in Danoon in Argyll in Scotland and as the bikes leave the track you can see Ian immediately hits the front with the HPF Honda. Now this was a very extremely wet and muddy day at this track at uh, Danoon. It is very seldom this track is dry, it seems to always rain at this venue but as you see Ian has a good start on his uh, new HPF Honda and as they make the turn this will give you an idea of just how wet this track was on the day. Now as you can see the uh, C&J HBF Honda here is no slouch when it comes to uh, being on the track in these very difficult conditions. Ian has already opened up a very good lead on the rest of the chasing pack. An ideal bike of course to have in these wet conditions, these big four stroke machines. Uh, don't spin up the back wheel as much and uh, they're really very well suited for these extremely muddy conditions. Now of course since Ian 
has been racing this bike in the last uh, few years. This machine has taken Ian to many victories on the track and a couple of uh, championship uh, wins. So there you have it. That's just a very brief look at Ian's lovely CNJ HBF replica Honda. Now please stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more of these vintage and classic dirt bikes. This video was brought to you in association with Wolf Sport Motocross Race and Leisure Wear and also in association with VMX Magazine, the world's undisputed number one publication for all your vintage and classic dirt bike motorcycles.